checking Linux distribution and version, cloning the official Agent Zero repository to Git, checking if Git Agent Zero is a valid Git repository. Welcome back. A new version of Agent Zero is released, 092. This time, the agent gets the ability to talk to you using Kokoro text-to-speech model, and we have greatly improved the attachment system. Let me remind you that our GitHub repository has been moved to organization namespace, agent zero AI slash agent zero. Everything else regarding the repository stays the same. We still have all the stars, pull requests, issues, etc. The same goes for Docker Hub repository. You can now find Docker images on the same namespace, agent zero AI slash agent zero. As always, Agent Zero is completely free and open source. It is being built for you. You can use it for whatever you want, however you want. Visit our web agent-zero.ai to learn more about the system and its features. You can find links to our socials here. And you can join us on our school community where you can find a lot of community content. There's a lot of learning resources in the classroom and also weekly community calls. And don't forget to check out our community platform where you can submit improvement proposals or upvote others, especially if you're a token holder. We are using the Kokoro text-to-speech model under the hood. It is just 82 million parameter model, which allows us to include this model completely in our pre-built Docker image. This way, you don't need to install anything, set up anything. It works out of the box. All you need to do is enable speech in the sidebar and you're good to go. I'm going to do a little example now. You can notice that the agent speaks the headlines of the currently processing task, and then it speaks the final response. Listing all hidden files in root directory. Here are the hidden files and directories in root. See table attached. These files and folders are hidden by default because their names start with a dot. You've probably noticed that the agent will skip any tables and also long code blocks. It will just tell you C table attached or C code attached because this can be a lot of information and it would be a very long audio stream. So this way, the agent will tell you the heading, the result, any text that's worth speaking, and it will skip any technical data in between. Another example here. Checking Linux distribution and version. Kali GNU Linux rolling 2025.2. So now with the speech enabled, you don't need to look at Agent Zero at all times, and you still get relevant information throughout the process. Searching for the official Agent Zero GitHub repository you are. Cloning the official Agent Zero repository to Git. Checking if Git Agent Zero is a valid Git repository. The Agent Zero repository is already cloned at. The streaming system has been greatly optimized to handle longer bodies of text, so we don't have to wait for the full message to be generated and synthesized. It is parsed and chunked and synthesized chunk by chunk. Agent Zero memory system. Type file-based persistent memory. Location memory directory inside the agent. So even though the full message is not yet generated, the agent can start speaking right away. And while one sentence is being spoken, the other one is already being generated. So this ensures really smooth text-to-speech experience. You don't have to wait for anything. We have also improved the other way where you can talk to your agent in speech. You can select your input audio device and you can select the size of the whisper model from OpenAI that we use for the speech transcription. Just like the Kokoro model, this one is built into the Docker container. It is downloaded automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. It's a free and open source model. And the size will determine the transcription quality. Usually, the base and small are good enough. So I can now enable the microphone and tell the agent Delete the original Git repository folder and clone it again. You can see that there's a visual indication on the microphone button showing you whether it hears your the Git voice. Agent Zero folder was currently doing the trans transcription or sending to backend. 
And here the agent is always informed that this message was transcribed from your voice and that it can contain errors. So the agent can take that into account and will not ask for any clarification if there is an obvious error made by the transcription. Because both your voice and agent's voice are being processed on the backend in Python in the Docker container, you can use this interface from your mobile phone and it will not put any additional stress on your device. Both of these models are small enough to be processed on CPU, so you don't require to have a dedicated GPU on the device where you run the Docker container. Just keep in mind that uh, these models will put some additional load on your memory. The other big update of this new version is the new attachment system. Attachments to your messages now look better. They are easier to work with. You can now open your attachments in an image viewer. And they are now much better synchronized between devices. So if I send these few files to Agent Zero, tell it to zip it with a password. Creating password protected zip archive with provided files. Your password protected zip archive. I can now easily access these attachments from another device, like a cell phone, as these attachments are already uploaded to the backend server. So I can view all the images and I can also download all the files. And as always, some minor updates and bug fixes have been added to this release to make Agent Zero a better experience. So this version is oriented more on the user experience, but we are also preparing something great for our developers and tinkerers for the next version. One of the big updates of the next version will be a rework of subordinate agents. Currently, they are just prompt subfolders, so these agents are different in their instructions and guidelines, but they share the same tools and extensions and everything with the rest of the framework. For the next version, this will be reworked so that each subordinate agent has its own folder containing not only the prompts, but also his specialized tools and extensions. So now we can make these subordinate agents truly special, like the researcher agent can have dedicated research tools and the developer can have specialized tools for file manipulation, etc. And with the use of extensions, we can do a lot of context injection. So for example, the developer will be able to work in a single folder context, for example, managing your code base. And we will also make the model provider selection more flexible by moving these predefined providers into a config file, along with their API endpoints and special parameters. This in combination with the use of Light LLM makes it very easy to add new model providers in the future. And we can already use that to add support for Venice AI API which is an improvement proposal from our community platform, which has been upvoted the last month. Thank you very much for this one. As always, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your likes, stars, subscribes, and see you in our community.